Hello and welcome back to Google Beyond Corp video series. This is Goldie again and in this video let's understand Google Beyond Corp pricing. Of course before you uh, get ready you need to understand how much it's going to cost you. Okay, So Beyond Corp comes in two different flavors. The first one is the free plan which is great so you can just sign up and start using it without putting your wallet out. And uh, there are some functionalities available within the free plan, uh, and it is available to all Google Cloud Platform customers. So if you are using Google Workspace for your messaging and collaboration, or maybe you just signed up for free Google Cloud Identity, as soon as you take your setup one step ahead and sign up for Google Cloud Platform, you will be able to access Beyond Corp free plan. Now, in case if you have uh, used Google Cloud Platform in the past, you might be aware of uh, an application. It's called IAP or Identity Aware Proxy. Essentially, that's included in Beyond Corp free plan. So you should be able to protect the resources that you have running in Google Cloud Platform like your applications which are running on Google's App Engine or maybe the virtual machines that you have running in Google Compute Engine. So you should be able to protect those resources. And I have one more video coming up in which I'll go into, you know, step-by-step -step features and, and much more details on what's included in free plan versus the premium plan. But for this video, let's take to the pricing itself. And if you need more controls that I I'm sure you would because you're considering Beyond Corp. Then you can upgrade to Beyond Corp Enterprise, which will cost you six dollars per user per month. So if you have a thousand users in your organization, it's going to cost you six thousand dollars per user per month. Of course, this is the pricing that I got from Google's public pricing page. Okay, so. Uh, to wrap this video, there these are the two plans available. If you want to try it out, just sign up for Google Cloud Identity and then to Google Cloud Platform. I'll link my video somewhere here where I show how to do that. And then just try out a few things. Personally, I would absolutely highly recommend you to consider Beyond Corp Enterprise because along with other security and controls, it offers device-based contextual conditions. For example, you can say if the device that the user is trying to access this resource from is running XYZ dot, etc. operating system version or not, is this device encrypted, is this company owned device. So all the device based attributes or their context, you can only leverage it in Beyond Corp Enterprise. And of course, if you are trying to protect your resources, you need to collect as more context as you can to make it more secure. Okay, so uh, let me cover much of that in the next video where I'll go deep into what's included in free versus uh, enterprise plan. For now, just keep this in mind. There are two plans available. You may start with free, try it out, and once you find that it's uh, it's a good fit, just go ahead and consider the Beyond Corp Enterprise plan too. With that, thank you so much. If you have any feedback, question, or comment, do not hesitate to put that under this video, and I'll be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.